The Denver Nuggets are the reigning NBA champions, and they have all of the ingredients to repeat that success this season. Led by their MVP, Nikola Jokic, who averaged an insane 30 points, 14 rebounds, and 10 assists in the playoffs, the Nuggets have a balanced and versatile roster that can compete with any team in the league. Let's get into the nitty gritty and address some of the challenges they're gonna face as well. Here are the reasons why the Denver Nuggets will win back-to-back -back NBA titles. We gotta kick things off with the obvious. Nikola Jokic is unstoppable. The Serbian center is arguably the best player in the world right now, and his game has zero weaknesses. He can score from anywhere on the floor, he can pass like a point guard, he can rebound like a beast, and he can defend multiple positions. I know some of you might roll your eyes at that last one, but he's a better defender than many give him credit for. The Joker had a defensive rating of 109.6 last season. For context, the reigning MVP Joel Embiid, Rudy Gobert, and Brooke Lopez all had lower ratings than Jokic. Yoke led all centers in rebounds per game with 11.8, as well as steals per game at 1.3, and had the second most total rebounds just behind that other Nikola. Vucevic. He's also durable and clutch, playing in nearly every game last season and hitting several game winners in the playoffs. No one can guard him one-on-one, -on -one, and he makes his teammates better with his vision and unselfishness. He is the engine that churns this Nuggets offense, and surprisingly, the anchor of their defense. Then we have the blue arrow, Jamal Murray. Jamal put up 20 points, 6.2 assists, and 4 rebounds per game on 45% shooting, 40% from 3, and 83% from the line last year. Not bad, but it's when the Nuggets hit the playoffs that Jamal really shines. Those numbers all increase to 26, 7, and 6 on 47, 40, and 92, with an increase from 32 minutes played to 40. Don't get it twisted, postseason Jamal Murray is a thing. Although I can't put Jamal in that elite point guard territory quite yet, as long as the Nuggets make the playoffs, and I think that's a pretty solid assumption that they will, I think he's as good there as any point guard in the league. Next up, Michael Porter Jr., who had a pretty shaky year to be honest. When he was on, he was on, but when he was off, he turned into a ghost. MPJ put up 17 points, 1 assist, and 5.5 rebounds per game on 49% shooting, 41 from 3, and 80 at the line. Those numbers aren't bad, but he was definitely streaky last season, disappearing for multi-game stretches at a time, and his play in the playoffs was borderline bad. Every major offensive statistic dropped, but the silver lining was he maintained serviceable defense and kept a hustle mentality throughout, making several key blocks and steals in each series. He never gave up, and when you're trying to win at all, that matters. He kept engaged. I think Porter Jr. bounces back this season. We know he has a beautiful shot, and he can elevate similar to Kevin Durant. It just seems like his confidence takes hits throughout the season. Maybe the boost of winning a championship could help with that, though. And then there is Mr. Nugget himself, Eric Gordon. If you missed it, after the Nuggets won the championship last year, Gordon left the arena and walked out into the Denver streets and celebrated with the jubilant fans. No security, still in his uniform and shoes, smoking a cigar, and celebrating with the people. Aaron Gordon is the glue that keeps this team as tight as it is. He does all of the dirty work, can guard practically anyone, and has a mean cutter that takes full advantage of Jokic's creative playmaking ability. Aaron Gordon dunks off of Jokic bombs are a thing of beauty. His stats since becoming a Nugget might not pop out at you, but make no mistake, Aaron Gordon might be the second most important player on this roster. Then rounding out the returning five is Contavious Caldwell Pope, the shooting specialist who shot 42% from three on four attempts per game. Again, KCP is another player whose stats aren't going to wow anyone, but his experience as a now two-time champion certainly provides plenty of value. The Nuggets did take a hit to their sometimes hot and cold bench though by losing Bruce Brown to the Indiana Pacers in free agency, but they expect the exciting second-year player Christian Brown to step up into that leader off the bench role, and Christian certainly knows about winning. He won three state championships in high school, won the NCAA championship in 2022 at the University of Kansas, and is now an NBA champion as well, becoming only the fifth player in history to win NCAA and NBA titles in back-to-back -back years. The Nuggets also expect a larger role for Reggie Jackson in the backup point guard spot with Bruce Brown gone, Zeke Nagy to take the next step in his young career backing up Jokic, and hope that Peyton Watson's 22 points, 2 assists, and 7 rebounds per game in the G League over the summer translate to the NBA. 
Losing Uncle Jeff Green also hurt, but they retained the services of the timeless DeAndre Jordan and signed veteran journeyman Justin Holliday to act as a veteran presence and voice in the locker room. Overall, the Nuggets starting five will be as good as ever, but now with a little more confidence as champions. The bench has some question marks, question marks with plenty of potential, but still need time to develop and build chemistry. The Denver Nuggets are the defending NBA champions, but they face a tough challenge to repeat that feat. Despite having a talented and cohesive roster, the Nuggets have several factors working against them that could prevent them from winning another title. For starters, the competition is fierce. The NBA is loaded with contenders who have improved their rosters and are hungry to dethrone the Nuggets. Probably the biggest challenger in the West are the Phoenix Suns, who added Bradley Beal, Yusuf Nurkic, and Grayson Allen to an already formidable duo of Kevin Durant and Devin Booker, two top 11 scorers last year. The Lakers added Gabe Vincent and have a full offseason to build chemistry since their trade deadline acquisitions last year. The Kings now have experience. Golden State still has Steph, Kyrie gets a full offseason to Joe and Luka, and the Timberwolves, led by Anthony Edwards, continue to surge. Not to mention Memphis will get Ja back, as long as he doesn't do anything stupid again, and the Clippers could always surprise us. Then there's the East. Assuming the Nuggets continue to be the top dogs in the West, they would face either Dane Time and the Greek Freak duo from Milwaukee or a stacked Celtics team both of whom have higher odds of winning the championship right now according to most sports books. The Nuggets have largely stayed the same, while their competition has gotten better, but has it been enough? It's like the old saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, and the Nuggets certainly have it. The Nuggets have never won back-to-back -back championships in their franchise history, and they will face enormous expectations and scrutiny from fans, media, and opponents. They'll have a target on their backs every single night, as every team will give them their best shot and try and knock them off their pedestal. They'll also have to deal with the mental and physical fatigue of playing deep into June last season and having a shorter offseason than usual. They'll have to overcome all of the trappings that come with being a champion, complacency, overconfidence, and distractions that can affect their focus and performance. Winning one championship is hard enough, winning two in a row is even harder. Barring injuries, the Nuggets have all of the pieces to win another championship this season. They have an MVP in Jokic, a star supporting trio in Murray, Porter Jr., and Gordon, and a bench with solid potential. They proved last season that they can beat any team in the league when they're healthy and focused. They've also shown that they have the mental toughness and resilience to overcome adversity and challenges over the years. And now they have the confidence and chemistry that come from winning it all last season. The Denver Nuggets are not just a one-hit wonder. Mark my words, they are a dynasty in the making. Their starting five are all under 30 with plenty of even younger potential on the bench. With coach Michael Malone's tried and true coaching ability and the Nuggets' ability to draft and develop quality talent, I don't think we'll be seeing them fade off anytime soon. But to build a dynasty, you have to win another one. And I think we'll be seeing the Joker raise the Larry O'Brien trophy a mile high once again come June. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.